Good morning. Um, it is a story time slash vlog today. Um, I need to tell you guys about that time that I fell in love with that Puerto Rican criminal. Um, if you follow my TikTok, you've already seen some of the story. But after I told the story, Felipe actually messaged me. So I feel like I owe you guys an update. And I'm going to go through the whole thing if you're new here and you haven't heard that story time yet. Um, if you like to hear about my life and my crazy story times, follow both my TikTok and my YouTube because I do longer versions over here and little shortened versions where I give you a little bit sneak peeks on my TikTok. So yeah, and also I'm just going to take you guys to the beach with me because I'm going to the beach this morning and so I'm going to try to tell the story while I vlog. Um, I'm already dressed. Let me show you what I'm wearing. Already dressed. This is just my don't mind my messy ass counter. But this is just the swimsuit I'm wearing. It's from Fashion Nova, I want to say. Um, and I didn't do any makeup this morning. As you can see, I'm literally just bare-faced. I put on a little bit of blush so my cheeks could be like a little pink. But overall, no. Um, and I didn't even do my hair. I just brushed it out. It was in a little top knot when I went to sleep and I just brushed it out. So yeah, um, let's get into the story though before my friends come and get me. So last summer, I met this girl on TikTok. Literally, I just saw her posting and I was like, oh, I like her page. And so we started like messaging each other and she was like, oh, like I'm in Puerto Rico right now and I'm here for free. So basically she was doing like a little volunteer program um, with like world packers. I don't know if you know what that is, but basically you can volunteer with different hotels and hostels. So she was volunteering with a hostel to do their social media for them. And so I was like, wait, that's sick. Like she's there for free. Like that sounds so fun. Like she gets most of her food taken care of. Like literally she was just in Puerto Rico for the summer free. And so I was like, hold on. I want to be in Puerto Rico for free. Um, so I was like, wait, I want to come. Can I come? And keep in mind, I don't know this girl from anywhere. Like, I had just met her and talked to her online. And she was like, yeah, girl, come. So she, like, got me in contact with the people that she was working for. And so I ended up going to volunteer with them, too. And so that's how I ended up in Puerto Rico. If you go back on my TikTok and scroll down a little bit you can actually see the videos of me saying that i'm going to puerto rico for three weeks so i'm not capping guys like all of my stories are real <laughs> so yeah so i impromptu like she like i think i met her like say it was like august when i met no say it was like july when i met her i was in puerto rico by like the end of july so i go to puerto rico with these girl i've never met and um Keep in mind, she was cool, though, so it worked out. It really did work out in my favor, but... <laughs> so, yes, in this three, four weeks I was in Puerto Rico, I would, like, leave the hotel that I was working with in the morning to go find breakfast, because they didn't provide breakfast or anything like that, so you have to go find your own food. Um, so, in the morning, one fateful day, I left the hotel and, like, walked down the street and just went into this random local breakfast spot. Um, and in this breakfast spot, there was this guy, like, um, on the end of the counter, like, so you ha you can sit at, like, the counter area. And so there's this guy at the end of the counter and he was, like, staring at me. Um, but of course, you know, like, I'm in a foreign country, and low-key, I'm scared of men, too, because you never know. You never know what men are gonna do. I'm scared of men, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna kind of ignore it, like, get my breakfast, sit down, eat, go home. Also, I need to, like, pack a bag. I'm sitting here talking to you guys and haven't packed anything for the beach, so let us put a little break in the story so I can pack a freaking bag, um. Here's the bag that I'm bringing, I think. Um, this is like my other camera I usually use to vlog, but I'm using the Canon G7X right now. Um, so we are gonna take the shit out this bag. Right, so here's what I'm packing for the beach. Um, some deodorant, cause you know, you can never be smelling bad. We always wanna smell good. Um, a hair tie, so I can put my hair up when I get there. Um, I'm gonna bring my debit card because, you know, you never know when you're gonna need some money and we don't want to depend on anyone 
if we need something to eat or drink. And also I haven't eaten anything, so I should probably eat some food, but it is whatever. I'm gonna bring a comb so I can like look decent. And I'm bringing my cup. It has my name on it, Amber. Um, I'm bringing my cup so I can put some drinks in here and I don't have to like hold a cup because that's annoying. Where was I in this story? Oh yeah, so sitting, eating breakfast, minding my own freaking business. When this guy comes over to me and he's like, just, just normal, hello. And he was beautiful though guys like if I was brave enough I would show you guys a picture but I'm not gonna out myself like that but he was beautiful and I was like wow you know I don't know you but I'm willing to get to know you shoot <laughs> so he was like hi and I was like hi and he was like um you don't look like you're from around here and I was like I mean I live here now uh, because obviously I'm not gonna tell him like yeah I'm just here for a little bit like no I was like I live here now um, I just moved here blah blah, blah. Um, I'm here with some friends uh, you know and so he was just like oh like cool and he's bilingual so he has a little bit of an accent though and you know I can't do it I'm not gonna try because I'm gonna embarrass myself but he has a little bit of an accent and so I'm like okay um so yeah he was like I would love to continue to get to know you can I get your number so I give Felipe I mean obviously I asked him his name eventually and he told me his name was Felipe uh, I give Felipe my number um he messages me we're talking and so for that like three four weeks that I was in Puerto Rico me and Felipe saw each other like at least three to four times a week which is basically most of the week um and so we are like going out together everywhere. He took me to like El Yunque, like that's like the rainforest area. He took me to like El Yunque. Um, he also like was taking me out to like dinner, to these really fancy restaurants too. Like I didn't even know Puerto Rico had those type of restaurants. Well, obviously they do because everywhere has fancy restaurants, but I didn't know where to find them. He was taking me to Old San Juan. He was showing me around everywhere. It was beautiful. Um, and in that time, he was asking me all these questions about myself, which you know what, now looking back at it, I'm like, was that a red flag? Were you trying to figure out how easy I am to scam? I don't know but <laughs> I long story short it was great and I, I literally didn't even see any red flags like now looking back I'm like okay maybe he was asking too many questions um you know he was asking what's your mom's name whatever and now I'm looking back like wait isn't like your mom's like made a name one of the answers to like security questions I don't know I don't know I'm thinking too hard into it but anyway so fast forward one day he takes me to uh, old San Juan and we are like walking around and we go to this ice cream place. I forget the name, it's like Choco something, some chocolate place. Um, and we go and we go into this ice cream place and this lady's looking at him really weird. Like, and when I tell you really weird, like it was noticeable to me, but every time he would look up, she would like go back to normal. So, you know, she's like scooping the ice cream and she's like looking at me like, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on here but it's simply none of my business um because like in my head I was like maybe this is like I don't know someone that knows Felipe and like doesn't know who I am or something like that you know like I don't know what Felipe's history is in this city so I was just like ignoring it I was like it's none of my business but um so anyway I go to the end of the counter to collect my ice cream and at the the other side of the counter is where you pay so Felipe is like paying on the other side of the counter and so she's like handing me her ice cream the guy's checking Felipe out and she's like delinquente like delinquent so she, she whispers to me like delinquente um and I was like what because like I don't really know I I know a little bit of Spanish but like I don't know that much Spanish so I was just kind of like what? and she was like delinquente delinquente and she's like looking over at him and saying like delinquente. So in my head, I'm like, I don't know much Spanish, but I do know what delinquente sounds like in English. It sounds like delinquent. And I was like, is she trying to tell me that he's a criminal? And now I'm like, shit, because 
if he's like a known criminal enough for this lady to like alert me to the fact that he's like a criminal then he must have done something really bad like or he must be like a known criminal he must like prey on women or something right so now i'm like a little bit scared but i was just like okay like and then then like felipe came over so she just like walked away and she was done she was done but she got her point across right so like me and felipe spend the rest of the day together and i don't really alert him to anything because like what would i look like being like oh that lady at the ice cream shop told me that you're a criminal is that true like i'm not about to do that so i was just like anyway like i just kept it going whatever but when he dropped me home that day he was like you know we had a great day i can't wait to see you again and i was like oh i can't wait to see you too but then i ghosted his ass like when he like messaged me i just didn't respond and he was like when are you leaving whatever he didn't respond he tried to call me i just ignored the call so that is the gist of the story but that is just a little rundown for anyone who's new here and doesn't know how i ran into felipe and how i made it to puerto rico now is the other part of the story felipe messaged me after i posted that tiktok the tiktok went viral when i was telling the story and felipe messaged me so yeah wait but let me go to the beach we'll, we'll pick up it's a boat day so come with me to maiden key i literally just threw on a swimsuit i'm not gonna do my hair or my makeup it is like 8 a.m fun and, but back to the story i'm heading to atlanta right now um i'm about to head to the airport get on the plane so we're gonna kick off this story here and then we're gonna travel to atlanta and keep it going but anyway so yes felipe saw the video i saw after like maybe like an hour or three after i posted the video was a message pop up my phone from a puerto rican number and keep in mind i don't have his number saved anymore um but he's not blocked so i see a number pop up from this puerto rican number and i was like then um all i see is hey and obviously i checked the like profile picture or whatever and i'm like oh yeah this is exactly who i think it is so i'm like hi what's up <laughs> and he's like oh now i know what happened and i was like what do you mean because i'm still trying to play like coy you know like, i'm still trying to be like okay hopefully he didn't see the video because that would be wild like i saw your tiktok <laughs> he's like i saw your tiktok and i'm like i don't know why i thought he wasn't gonna see it i don't know why i thought he wasn't gonna see it but i was over here like okay you know maybe there's hope that he won't see it um so yeah but yeah he was like i saw your tiktok and i was like oh you did <laughs> i don't know why i'm playing coy with this man like i know um he's like yeah he was not pleased he, felipe is not happy with me um okay because he's definitely like this girl ghosted me and told a story on tiktok and now i'm seeing it on tiktok and she never told me anything so kind of wild um but yeah so he's like yeah and I was like, oh, okay. Thinking that I'm going to end the conversation by saying, oh, okay. No. Um, he was like, I understand why you would have ghosted me, but uh, I feel like you should have asked me about it because that lady in the ice cream shop that day, I remember, she's one of my ex-girlfriends. And I was like, plot twist. <laughs> plot twist. She's one of my ex-girlfriends. Um, so he was like, clearly she saw us together and she was jealous and she just wanted to like scare you away, which she did, like you made her win. And I'm just kind of like, now I'm like, dang, I don't know what to believe. Like, I don't know if I actually believe him because he could say anything, right? Like he could be saying anything right now just to like save his ass. Um, and just so I don't think he's like a criminal. So. I don't exactly know if he's telling the truth, but that low-key makes sense though, right? Like, if it's like an ex-girlfriend who's trying to like scare you away from her boyfriend or whatever, wouldn't it be wise to tell her that he is a criminal? 
um, because that should scare damn near anybody away. So yeah, I was like, wait, are you for real? He was like, yes, I remember. Yes, I remember that day I was ignoring her in the shop on purpose because I know that she's crazy. But here's my thing about guys who say girls are crazy, right? Like, I don't believe guys who say like, my ex is crazy because what did you do to make her crazy? Why is she crazy? Like, I don't know. I don't just believe that girls are just insane over you. My Uber is here, so we're gonna pick up this story when I'm at the airport or when I'm in Atlanta, so. Another brief intermission, but hope you're enjoying the story and hope you're enjoying the little vloggy vlog in between. If you if you are enjoying the vlog, like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, see you guys in Atlanta. Made it to Atlanta, guys. Um, so time to continue the story and. The good thing is, is it's been two days since I started telling that story, so I have actually more tea for you guys. But anyway, I don't remember exactly where I left off, um, but I know I was telling you guys that Felipe was telling me that um, it was like an ex-girlfriend, right? And I just basically kind of told him that like, I don't really believe him. Um, I was just kind of like, yeah, you know, it sucks that this ended this way, but, uh, you know, maybe it was for the best, whatever. And he was just kind of like, you don't believe me, do you? And I'm like, no, don't believe you. Don't believe you not one bit. <laughs> so, Felipe sent me pictures of him and the girl. And honestly, I think it's the girl from the ice cream place. I don't actually remember how she looks, so I'm hoping, I mean, he could have sent me damn near anybody and I would have believed him, but... He sent me um, a picture of him and the girl and was like, look, like this is the same girl, like we dated for like three years and she was just trying to sabotage the relationship because she saw me with a new girl. Um, so guys, I think the moral of the story is that maybe he wasn't a criminal and you should probably ask questions before you ghost people. So yeah. That's where we're gonna end this story today. If there are any more updates with Felipe, I'll probably do them on TikTok because, uh, yeah. But yes, guys. I, so maybe I didn't fall in love with the Puerto Rican criminal. Maybe he was just a regular guy with a jealous ex-girlfriend. But either way, I dodged a bullet because if your ex-girlfriend's that crazy, I don't need to be involved, not one bit. Um, but if you guys enjoyed the story and the vlog, let me know in the comments down below if you like this format. I think I'm definitely going to be doing some more story times. I have so many travel story times to share with you guys. It's insane. I have been to like eight country, eight or nine countries last year alone. And all of them I went with either a stranger, someone I didn't know, someone I just met, someone that just messaged me online. Like I was really living my most dangerous life last year so if you want to keep up with my dangerous life like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye